So everyone, this is Dimitri and today I want to talk about the reverse crossover and if anyone has a better idea on how to call this exercise, please let me know in the comments down below. It's a pretty good exercise and one which I've kept into my next motorcycle training after trying out the full-on brick training approach. I like this exercise because it's uh, fairly easy to set up as opposed to some other brick training exercises. All you need to do is put up the pulleys at the shoulder height and you don't even need to use any attachments for this exercise. Also it is fairly easy to progressively overload because you can simply put on dumbbells onto the uh, weight blocks to incrementally add weight. As for the reps I recommend uh, going with the mid range of about 10 to 20 reps. Uh, you can also go higher, like 15 to 25 reps, but I wouldn't recommend going lower than that, just because all of the shoulder muscles tend to respond better to the higher rep ranges. As a side note, you can also do this exercise one-handed, and you could also empathize the stretch position with that version of the exercise by simply moving the arm through a larger range of motion by bringing it across your body. The way Doug shows this exercise in his book is uh, doing it with a bench to supporting his chest which I think is kind of redundant because you're not going to be using that much weight and you really should be able to stabilize yourself well considering the uh, absolute load is going to be fairly low. Also I encourage you to experiment and find what works for you best. Uh, you can stand further from the uh, keyboard machine or closer to it. Maybe change up the height of the pulleys and just find the version that works with the best for you. Alright, that's pretty much it. I hope you try out this exercise and let me know how it feels in the comments down below. As always, stay tuned for more content to come. See you later.